parable of the talents. So there was this master, right? And he came to his, to his servants and he said, I'm about to go on a trip. To one servant, he gave five talents. To the other, he gave two. And to the last one, he gave one. And he gave them all their talents according to their ability. So he takes off straight away, gone, out, on his way to his trip. The servant that got five talents took his talent straight away, wheeled and dealed, traded, did all he could do, and got five more. Then the servant who got two talents took his talents, wheeled and dealed, traded, and he got two more. But the servant who got one talent, that servant was afraid and he hid his talent in the ground. She hid her talent in the ground. So the master comes back and he says, all right, y'all, I'm back. What's the deal? What you do with your talents? What's it, what it do? And the dudes with five goes, Lord, you gave me five talents. I wheeled and dealed, I traded, I did my thing, and I got five more. The Lord said, wow, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over few. I shall make thee ruler over many. Enter into the joy of thy Lord. Woo! What a statement, right? So then the second one goes, he goes, what would you do with your talent? The second one goes, uh, uh, you, you gave me two talents. I willed to do it, I traded, I did my thing, and I got two more. And the master said, thou good and faithful servant, thou hast been faithful over few things. I shall make thee ruler over many. Enter into the joy of thy Lord. <laughs> and then he goes to the last servant and he says, what's the deal? He said, Lord, I, I, I knew that you were uh, a wicked God and, and that you reaped where you didn't sow. So I took my talent and I hid it because I was scared. And the master said, thou wicked and slothly servant. You mean to tell me I gave you the one talent and you hid it? You didn't even trade it in? You didn't even put it in a bank for interest? You just hid it? Take his talent and give it to the one with 10. Interesting point, because that's how life works. You see, it's not about where you start. It's about use. It's about whether you use what you got. Everybody's gonna start in different places according to ability. That's how it works. Life isn't fair in that way. Bottom line, the Lord, the master, didn't make it about competition. He didn't say, you with five and you with two, you guys battling against each other. He said the same thing to both of them. No matter where you were when you started, if you took those talents and put them into the world and gave your spirit, then, then he said, thou good and faithful servant, I will, I will make thee ruler over many because you honor who you were. How many of us sit on our talents, bury our talents in the ground because we wish that we were born into a rich family. We wish that our dad wasn't on drugs. We wish that we weren't raped when we were seven. We wish, we wish, we wish. None of that matters. Those are the cards you were dealt. And if you get the cards and use the cards properly, oh my God. You shall be ruler over many. When we focus on what we do have and we use it, that's, that's the lesson here, is use. If you don't use it, you lose it. Bottom line, it's like a muscle. It will atrophy. If I don't use this muscle, it will die. We have to, have to honor where we are in life. We came here for specific reasons. And it's on you to get out of your way, to clear all the muck and the mire, to become you. And when you are you, you get to serve. We have story after story after story of people who were born into pure dirt poverty. People like Nelson Mandela, Bishop Tutu, people like Mother Teresa. There's all kinds of people. It didn't matter where they started. What mattered is whether they used what they had. If you get nothing else out of this, take what you got and love people to the best of your ability. Take what you got and serve the planet. I love you. This is Questions with Preston. I ask that you click like, share, subscribe, get the message out. This isn't about me, this is about you. Let's go. Oh, talents. We got talents. I'm wearing two different shoes in this joint. You know what I'm saying? 
I was about to walk that way, but it's too much water and it's slippery. Uh, I love you guys. Click subscribe, please. It's called paralysis of analysis. So many decisions that you make no decision. So many choices, so many options that you make no decision.